Have you ever been curious about putting tempo changes in your project? Let's say you want to slow it down for one section and then speed it back up for another. Tempo changes are a great way to bring back some of the human feel before we recorded everything to a metronome. And today I'll show you how you can do that in Logic Pro. What's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? This is the Oreo Monster welcoming you back to Logic.Band. It's a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind, Logic, VoiceOver, macOS, and GarageBand user. If you haven't yet, type logic.band into your web browser, hit return, and when you land on the site, sign up for the mailing list so you can get a free getting started with Logic course. So here we have a song in Logic, and I'm gonna put in free tempo changes just to give you an idea of what you can do with these tempo changes. So the first thing you wanna do is if you have any audio tracks in your project, you want to make sure that flex time is turned on for those body tracks. Otherwise, nothing will happen when you do the tempo change. If you're on the track header, you can press Command F to make flex time visible. And then when you interact with the track header, in track 77, flex time, monophonic, pop up button, you'll see where it says flex time, monophonic, etc. And you can go ahead and change the item to be the appropriate algorithm. Now, if you don't want vocals or bass, anything where you're going to have a single note at a time, monophonic is probably a good fit. Polyphonic is probably a good fit for anything that's going to be playing chords like guitars, pianos, etc. And if you're dealing with drums, splicing is probably a good place to start. Feel free to try the other algorithms to see what may work for you. Also, if you press Command F to make the flex time algorithm visible, and it's already on the thing that you'd want to set it to, like case in point, you look at your vocal track and it's already on monophonic. If you have any issues with it, then you may want to set it to something else and then set it back to monophonic. I find sometimes you have to do that to force it to analyze the track again. So I already turned on flex time for everything in this project that we need to have flex time on for as far as audio tracks go. So I'm going to play the section of the project we're going to be working with here today. So that gives you an idea of what we're working with. So I'm going to start this out a little slower than where it is right now, and then go ahead and speed it up for the next section. So the first thing you want to do to make your life a little bit easier is to move the playhead to where you want the first tempo change to happen. So I'm going to make sure I'm at bar nine. Eight bars, nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. All right, playheads at bar nine. So now we're going to bring up the tempo list, and the key command to do that is Option Shift T. So if I press Option Shift T, now in move a T logics, move the vocals W T R T mix start tempo window table no selection. We got the tempo list table up here, and if I view left table no selection. Oops, I'm in the table, so I'm going to stop interacting. Out of tempo group. And view left. Untitled tempo set create new tempo event button. There's a thing here that says create new tempo event. So I'm going to view space on this, and I'm going to view J to jump back into the table. In table nine one 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 scrubber group. 180.0000 scrubber groove. One hour, zero minutes, and 10 seconds. 16. So you heard there it started to say 9111 scrubber group and 180 scrubber group. So 9111 is nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick, which is where the playhead is, which is why I said you want to set the playhead to where you want the tempo change to be before creating a new tempo. That way it saves you the time of having to adjust this slider in the 9111 section. So if I view right, tempo, 180.0000 scrubber group. See that one is a tempo, so that says 180. If I interact with this, in 180.0000 scrubber group. I'm going to change the tempo here to 180, segment zero, slider. So let me interact with the first segment where it says 180. In slider. And 170.0000 scrubber group. Position, 9111 scrubber Oops. group. It kicks you out of there, so be all right. Tempo, 170.0000 scrubber group. Interact. In 100, 170, segment zero, slider, Interact. in slider. 160.0000 scrubber group. Okay, so I just took that down to 160. Out of table. Now, I'm going to move over to bar 17, so I'm just going to use period. 10 bar, 11, 12 bar, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. All right, because that's where I want to put my next tempo change, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop interacting with this. Out of tempo, group. And view left to the create tempo button again. Untitled tempo set. Create new tempo event button. Create new tempo event. I'm going to view space on that. And view J to jump back into the in table. table. 
17111 Scrubber Groove. 160.00. So you see it says 17111, which is where the playhead is. And if I view right. SMPT position. Tempo. 160.0000 Scrubber. It leaves you on the column you're on. So because I was on the tempo column before, it's that's where I still am. So if I interact with this. 160.0000 Scrubber Groove. And I still want to interact again to interact with the Scrubber Group for 160. Instead of like adjusting it by 10 being kicked out, if you view command shift space on that slider you'll get that mouse down thing and then you can adjust this without it kicking you out every time you adjust it by 10. So. 170 180 190 200. all right there we go we have that at 200 so i'm going to stop interacting out of slider. and go ahead and mouse up now in move a t logics table 17 one, one, one scrubber groove 200.000 all right there we go so now i'm going to go ahead and hit that create tempo button again out of tempo groove. stop interacting with the table untitled tempo set Create new tempo event button. Vo space in create new tempo. Vo J to go back into a in table. In table. One 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 scrubber group. One 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 scrubber. Nine one 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 scrub. Seventeen one 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 scrubber group. Seventeen one one nine one 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 scrubber group. My playhead, I'm assuming, is at the beginning of the project. Two bars one one bar one yep. beat one. So it added a second tempo. Uh, marker at bar one beat one. One 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 scrubber group. There's always going to be one at the very start of your project, so you can ignore the first one. One 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 scrubber group. But I'm going to go down to the second one, and I'm going to move this to where I want it to go. So I'm going to interact in with one, this. In one 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 segment zero slider. Interact with that first segment again. In slider. View command shift space. Mouse down on one segment zero slider this. eleven twenty one thirty one. 21, 20, 20, 24, 25. 25. View command shift space. Twenty five one 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 scrubber group. And now uh, stop it. Out of table. Oops. In table. Tempo. 180.000 scrubber groove. Tempo is at 180, so I'm going to interact with that. In 180.180. In segment zero. In slider. And actually, I do want it to be 180, so I'm going to leave that out at 180. Slider. So that, that worked out in the end. All right, so let's view left. 180. Oops, segment stop. zero. Slider. Stop interacting with that slider. Out of 180.000 scrubber groove. So if I view left. Position. 25111 scrubber groove. You see, this first column has all the positions at 25, 17, 1, 1, 1, scrubber group, 17, 9, 1, 1, 1, scrubber group, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, scrubber group, and 1. So if I be all right, tempo, 180.000, scrubber group, tempo is 180 at bar 1, beat 1. If I view down arrow, 160.000, scrubber group, see that's 160, if I view left, position, 9, 1, 1, 1, scrubber group, you see that's at bar 9. If I go down, view down arrow, 17, 1, 1, 1, scrubber group, see that at bar 17, be all right, tempo. 200.000 scrubber group changes to 200 if i reel down there 180.000 scrubber group cease 180 real position 25111 scrubber group you see it's at 25 so bar one starts out at 180 bar nine is 160 bar 17 it changes to 200 and bar 25 it changes back to 180 so that gives you an idea of the tempo changes that we put in so i'm going to close this tempo window now in move it logics inspector group tracks group Insp control bar. And let's go ahead and play the project. I'm just going to go to bar. Two bar, three bar, four bars, five bars, six bars, seven bars, one beat, eight bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Play from bar eight here. So you see it got slower right there at the bar nine, at bar nine. Now it's going to speed up here. So it sped up right there at bar 17. Now it's gonna slow back down. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. So that gives you an idea of how you can insert tempo changes throughout your project to have stuff speed up and slow down as you go along. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can keep you up to date on everything going on over here at logic.band. If you'd love to go deeper on any of these topics or anything relating to Logic, VoiceOver, macOS, or GarageBand, then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band slash training. Want to support what's going on here at logic.band? Then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or subscribe to make an ongoing Patreon style donation. Links to all of these plus supplemental tutorials and blog posts can be found in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.